Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video I'm going to talk about the newly launched processors by Intel known as Sandy Bridge Extreme. These new processors sports uh, f six physical cores and also hyperthreading is enabled on them. So up to 12 threads are supported with the same. Also the socket for this new Sandy Bridge Extreme processor is different from the regular Sandy Bridge processors that are based on the LGA1155 socket. But these new Extreme processors use the socket 2011 and they, these processors are physically bigger than the original Sandy Bridge processors. So you would need to use a new motherboard on this, uh, based on the socket 2011 to use these extreme chips. You can identify these processors with this new black logo. Actually Intel has launched three new processors. The flagship is the Core i7-3960X processor and this goes for a whopping uh, $1000. It's clocked at 3.3 gigahertz and it's a completely unlocked processor and uh, the L3K is a massive 15 MB. Also Intel has launched the support for quad channel memory with these new Sandy Bridge Extreme processors. The regular Sandy Bridge processors just have a dual channel support. There's another processor that's shown in the, f that's the first on this chart and it's the i7-3930K and this runs at a clock speed of 3.2 gigahertz and has uh, L3 cache of 12 uh, MB and this is priced at around $555. I have also listed the at the last the i7-2700K which is the fastest uh, quad core processor by Intel right now and you can compare the same. So what you get with the Sandy Beach Extreme processor is uh, two more physical cores compared to the normal i7 that has just four cores this one has six cores and hyper threading is also enabled on these extreme processors thus it can handle up to 12 threads simultaneously also there's one more processor uh, that's yet to be launched that's known as i7-3820 the pricing for this extreme processor hasn't been revealed yet these extreme processors are not uh, just for generic use it will be ideal for someone who works with video a lot for example let's say your computer is bogged down every day the most part of the day with video encoding and stuff like that then these sandy bridge extreme processors will be helpful or you have the money to spend and want to build the fastest system around this is the processor for you for normal users uh, even an i7 like a 2600k is more than enough as I stated earlier, uh, you need the new motherboards for these processor. Asus has launched these new motherboards based on the socket 2011 based on this x79 chipset and these are some of the motherboards by Asus uh, that can run these Sandy Bridge Extreme processors. Please do not confuse these Intel Sandy Bridge Extreme processors with the new uh, chips that are going to launch, be launched by Intel next year based on the Ivy Bridge platform. I have made a separate video about Ivy Bridge and you can click on the link for more info about the same. I hope you found this video helpful. That's it for now. This was Ranjit for tech2bus.com and hopefully I'm going to see you in my next video.